Mr. Frank Dozier, how are you? Good. Howdy. How are you, Miss Ginger Dozier? <laughs> She's doing great, it seems. Well, thank you for having us in your beautiful neighborhood to find you. You're welcome. How long have you been here? I've lived here about nine months, I guess. Nine months? Oh, so you're a new resident. Oh, yeah. I'm from Dallas. I Dallas, Texas? Here, yeah. All right. Oh, that's my neck of the woods, too. Yeah, okay. Well, what do you think? Tell me what's wonderful about Find You. Well, I really like it. The people are really nice. Everybody's friendly. It's a very beautiful area. I mean, it's just, I mean, it really has a fine view. It, it's, you know? it's named correctly, that's <laughs> exactly. for sure. That's for sure. Well, I'll tell you what, since you're a new resident, and um, if I'd say somebody came to visit you from Dallas, Texas, what is the first thing that you'd show them about your new neighborhood? Well, I did have a visitor from Texas uh, back in November. A friend of mine came down, and we had a great time. The very first thing we did was stand out on the deck and just look. Oh, your deck. There it is. And yeah, because from just from our deck, we don't have the best view. We're around the corner, but, you know, this is still it's incredible. Just, it's incredible. And in Dallas, it's all flat, so you never right, see anything right. like this. Never. And then, this, do you find this area pretty affordable, considering that, like, the same view would be, like, a million dollars just across the river? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, like, it's a, I think this is a very... Uh, Kind of a low key area. It's not. We're not trying to, you know, show off, be anything special. It's just a nice, nice neighborhood. Nice neighborhood. Yeah. 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 Where do you see Fine View in twenty five years? I mean, basically, with the people that are coming in, the people that are here, um, property values going up. This, this, it has nowhere to go but up. It yeah. really does. I mean, it's. Just do you think that there are going to be more amenities here, like maybe um, coffee shops? No, that or? would be nice. Yeah, just, Art gallery. You know, that would be wonderful. Any anything that can help the neighborhood out would be great. Right. You know? As long as it stays quiet. Right. But I still, you know You don't want a big like business no, I, I mean if you know, if there's a strip mall come in then that that could be a problem. But yeah, it yeah, would change the quaintness of exactly. the area. Exactly. And I really like the quaintness of the area. What do you think about diversity? Is this, is this a diverse neighborhood to you? It seems that way. I mean, I'm here, you know, and it's there's people of all kinds here, and it's... Well, I noticed you have lots of children, and I think that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That says a lot about your neighborhood. It says it's a safe place. Um, it says so many things, you know. Yeah, definitely. Future. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, my kids are uh, teenagers, and so, you know, I'm always kind of, where are you going? But you know, they can wander around the neighborhood all they want. It's perfectly safe. Beautiful. I like to hear that. I yeah. like to hear <laughs> that. Um, if you were to go to another neighborhood in Pittsburgh, and you saw something that kind of inspired you, or something you want to emulate, or something you don't like about another neighborhood. What neighborhoods would that be and why? Um, honestly, I don't really know the area that well. I mean, I'm seeing this map right there, and it's like, oh, I didn't even realize there were that many neighborhoods. Yeah, I have 90 neighborhoods in Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> like, whoa, I've heard of like you know one or two names, but most of them I don't even. So Frank, you got some you got some touring to do around here. Yeah, there's a few places I go, you know, with people I work with who live kind of all around. Uh, Where do you work? I work at Six Pen Kitchen. You can almost see it, like right down there. It's right across the street from the one garage across the bridge down there. Well, you know what? One good thing about I think living up here. Do you find that the mass transit is really helpful helpful here? It's or it's consistent. It's very consistent. Um, I don't use it. I have a car, but. My daughter goes all around. She's good. You know, she knows the bus systems really well, and uh, you know the bus comes up here. I guess there was a there was a plan back in September they were going to take it away. And yes. Like, no, you can't take away our bus. Right. You right. Because and and I, the few times I have taken it, it's great because like it's like a ten minute bus ride from work. I mean, well, it's well if if they were to take the bus away from this area, how would you get to grocery stores? Now? Well, people would have to walk down the hill and take the, the Perrysville bus. Oh, I see. Is that a, kind of like a hike? Uh, down's not so bad. <laughs> now oh, you know you're in Pittsburgh. Yeah, 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 that's a, it's, a <laughs> it's a trip. It's a trip. Yeah, I feel bad for anybody who's got to do that. You right, know, I have a car, so, I'm, you know, Dallas, everybody's got to have a car, so it's not right Well, here. I think that's a good concern when you're talking about, talking to the city about living in a place like this where you do have to leave the neighborhood to get some of the things that you need, yeah. you know. And I guess it would be good. Uh, we do have Uncle Mike's store mm -hmm. around the corner. That's kind of good for just a few small things. But it'd be nice to have a little bit more of a, you know, a little bit more convenience to be able to get things so I that see. people don't wouldn't have to even like leave the neighborhood. Today. So you think it would be a good idea to have some more, uh, a few more amenities up here? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing too fancy. Nothing too 
big and bright, you know, but just a couple of things. Would be well, nice. tell me what you think about your green space in this area. Uh, as far as I can tell, it seems like it's really good. We've got a right. lot of nice open spaces, you know, uh, just like uh, like around the corners. There's like you know, some nice fields and stuff. And I guess the kids play out there. We got a, mm-hmm. a little playground right there. Oh, know? okay. So you have some things for people there. Um, I, I feel like when I'm here, that I'm in a really old neighborhood. You wouldn't know how old Five of You is. I know oh, you've only been. Yeah, there. I don't know. I, from what I can tell, I do remember one time my wife was watching something on a what's the WQED. WQED, and it was some Pittsburgh thing, and it was from like the video was had to be like fifties because it was black and white, and it shows this trolley coming down. I guess it was like down this street, uh-huh. and it passed right by our house. Oh, and we're like, look, it's our house. Our house. <laughs> it's our, our house is, I mean, most houses here are like a hundred years old. Oh yes, they are. Yeah, ours was built in nineteen hundred or nineteen twelve, something like that. Oh, beautiful. So, yeah, so it's a pretty old neighborhood, and you know, it's got that feel, but it's, and that helps it because it it's an old neighborhood, and but at the same time, you know, it's growing and it's right. becoming something. You see all this new stuff with all that old stuff. Yeah. And, you know, you can't really get that charming place, but right here in Pittsburgh, and definitely right here it's in Fineview. It's definitely in Fineview. And the thing about Fineview is people don't know about it. Right. They it's feel like, like a it's hidden like a secret. little secret. Yeah. Because people come up here, like, I tell people I live in Fineview, and they're like, oh, you live in the projects? Like, no. Fineview is above the projects, you know? Uh, like, they don't even realize that there's two different this things. up here. Like, when I... When I drive up here with people I work with, they're like, oh, I didn't even realize this was here. This is pretty nice. And there are people that have lived here all their lives and don't even know. know. Do you find that when you hear things on the news about the north side that people get kind of a a bad vibe about the north side, not realizing that the north side is huge and has many neighborhoods? Yeah, I do get that. Uh, Even, like, I guess when I first moved here, I kind of came into the town knowing that it was going to be that way and people kind of viewed the north side like that. And I can remember thinking when I first started working downtown, like telling people, hey, where do you live? And I'd say, oh, I live on the north side, and kind of gauging their reaction. Yeah. Because sometimes you're like, oh, the north side. I'm like, I, I have no problem with that. You know? Right. I've lived in far worse yeah. <laughs> areas all around the country. I mean, this right. is it's perfectly fine to me. But I guess from what my wife tells me, it's changed a lot. It has. It has and it's still it, changing. And it's still changing, but... You know, ten years ago, it probably wasn't as, you know, yeah. you know, as good as it is now, and so people. I think it's happening all over the country, actually, too. Yeah. Well, is it affordable here? As far as I know, yeah, we own our house. So yeah. I don't really, but uh, you know, from what I can tell, property values are pretty good, but they're going up. So yeah. That's always well, good. You know, gotta match it somehow. <laughs> nice. Frank Dozier, I want to thank you. Oh, Welcome to Pittsburgh. Thank you Personally so much. from another Oki <laughs> in a Pittsburgh. Yeah. Thank you for coming. And thank you, Miss Ginger. Oh, look at that close-up. That was beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much.